and welcome to Soul's Project Management Times, the podcast which looks at the ins and outs of the project management world. Disclaimer, all opinions in this podcast are those of the individuals involved and not of any company they work for or are affiliated with. So, let's get on with the show. Hi all, welcome to Soul's PM Times, the podcast which looks at the ins and outs of the project management world. Today is a special edition where I'm talking to my fellow candidate for the APM's Board of Trustees, Darren Jaundrill. Um, If you're a full member or a fellow, you should have got your nomination packs through in the last few weeks. And we thought we'd just have a bit of a chat about what we think about the project management world at the moment. We hope this will give you a feel of both of our candidacies. So, Sorrel, you said before you've only recently sort of entered the profession and, and entered this world. What's prompted you to go for the APM board? That's quite a big commitment to make. Um, oh, no. Right. Um, I was chatting to someone at an event a couple of weeks ago and he was saying, so what's your elevator pitch? And I went, uh, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't have one still. <laughs> Let's do it now. We can jam this. Yeah. Da, da, da. I can do this and then I can cut out all the extra words. I was sort of drawn to the board because as a newer member, as someone... So last year, I was a student member in January. I became an associate member in February and then became a full member in April, I think it was. Mm-hmm. So last year, I sort of covered a good few types of membership and I'm now looking at fellowship because I do technically have 10 years of project experience to see if um I've got to that level um and it's I think the board needs needs that diversity and it needs somebody who in recent times has experienced the modern apprenticeships has experienced um has a bit more experience around sort of the technology I'm really into social media and not just sort of LinkedIn, but Facebook and Reddit and Twitter and just Mm. chatting to people on boards and things and seeing how um, people communicate. And I just thought I I have a lot to give in in that sort of communication sphere. And I talk to a lot of people and I feel like I understand a lot of how people see the OPM. And I'd like to sort of introduce that to the board and see how that can be integrated into what they're doing already. But I think that's great. And, and I think that's, you know, going back to what we were talking about before about the communities of practice, that's what we need. You know, we need to be unlocking different areas of, of our community. And sometimes those communities are there, but we just, for some reason, aren't quite tapping in. My own sort of view, reasons for it are, are pretty much what we've been talking about. You know, I, I'm, I'm very passionate about apprenticeships. I'm very passionate about how we develop our professional standing and how we develop ourselves and develop the profession uh, and making sure that we are as inclusive as we can uh, and, and making sure that we if people are at the heart of all projects and people need to be at the heart of the professional body and and we need to be absolutely certain that we've got you know the membership at the heart of it and the membership is made up of many different facets from the branches to the significant interest groups to young people to um the, the veterans of the profession. If, if you ever want to have a, an enlightening conversation, just sit with Martin Barnes and, and just let him talk about what he's been doing in his career. It's just absolutely mind boggling. But, you know, we get all of that and we have to put it right at the middle and we have to accept that their needs and their wants and their desires are going to change over time. And we've got to make sure that we've got the right mechanisms in place to do that, whilst also making sure that we, we, we're always on to the next big thing. That we, we never stop. We don't just sort of say, right, actually, you know, what, let's just let's just stop. Let's just you know, quieten down a bit and just you know, um, you know, sustain, make it sustainable and, and and just just slow it down. Actually, we need to be thinking about what's the next big thing. What's the next big aspirational thing that we can aim for? You know, I've got a, a sort of a personal thing that you know, b- before I finish my professional career, I want to have created a national centre for project management somewhere <laughs> that has all of the things in it. So it's it's helping to deliver apprenticeships or it's helping to advise universities on graduate schemes or it's it's having the you know the the really quite learned debates that go on around project management that actually is facilitating those and it's it's a place that people can go to and say, I need some advice on, I know where I can go, the National Centre of Project Management. 
Um, and that's something that that's has been in the back of my mind for, for quite some time now. I was hoping we'd deliver it through Engage, but but, but it wasn't to be. Um, but I'm, I'm absolutely certain that at some point in my life, I will have done that. And, and I think the APM are at the core of that and making sure that it's, you know, it is this professional body that is always working on the next big thing. Mm-hmm. I love that. Yeah. Uh, and hopefully sort of going forward, there is so much excitement with the APM and there's so much, it is quite an exciting career generally. Once it gets built up, it will be quite easy to maintain enthusiastic younger people who really are the people who quite often drive organisations, is you need a few younger people who are still relatively new and still relatively excited, not jaded by politics or anything, um, to come in and have those ideas and they're more likely to see what the next steps should or could be. And we're a perfect profession to do that. We build amazing things. We build rockets, gardens, buildings. We, We do everything and... It's a really exciting profession to be sort of at the forefront of. Yeah, and it's well suited to to the current generation coming through. I mean, all of the research we, we read about the gig economy and the, and, the, and the current generation is that they're going to be very transient. So the days of someone who joins a job and stays in that job for their entire of their career are, are, are actually becoming less and less likely that actually it's going to be a very transient um, kind of workforce. Well, that's perfect for project management because that's what project management is. You know, we are very transient. So actually, you can attract that talent, uh, that talent because you can move them around the different projects. So although they might be within one organisation, they're actually working on uh, lots of different projects during their career. So, so I think we're we're well suited to that. I think we just need to make sure that as a profession, we're set up for it and that we have got those mechanisms in place that not only do we you know, aim high and we, we're relentless in, in pursuing it, but actually we're open to that challenge and that we've got those mechanisms in place to to, to produce that challenge uh, and that we are inclusive and that, and that people feel that they they can just come along or, or, they, or they can join the profession. You know, we have to look at how accessible is it uh, and that when someone has joined, what happens to them then? Do we guide them through? Do, is there someone who makes contact with them, perhaps from a local branch? You know, what happens to make sure that person hasn't just joined to say, yes, I'm a member of the APM, I've got my card, I know the website, but actually, what are we doing to encourage them to to challenge us as a profession, to add their input into it, to, to continuously develop our own understanding and, and our bodies of knowledge, but also actually that we can add things to them. Um, and it really excites me, that opportunity to be able to look at that uh, and I hate to use the word holistic, but I use it a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, that holistic view of the profession and, and 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 how we continue it moving forward. I think it's really exciting, and and I think this board election will be really interesting. I think we'll get some some interesting um, uh, people being elected to the board, uh, and that can only be a good thing, particularly now. You know, we got chartered; it's there. Great. That's you know, put project management right up there. Now we've got to decide. Well, now we've got it. What are we going to do with it? Yes. And what are we going to do to move it forward? And that's the exciting thing. And it's and it's one of those things that I, I think at the moment you can't look too far ahead. You can have an idea of what to do in the next couple of years, but you, it's things are changing quite fast and they need to settle down a little bit more as well. There's so many things that could be done and the APM as well does need to, um, I can't remember what the exact word is for it, but look at all the things it could be doing and choose the most impactful ones that they can to do because you can't do everything and it's it's going to be quite a challenge to choose which things whether it is going into schools and colleges whether it's i know there's talk of a project management gcse um Mm. it's whether it's um bringing together the corporate partners um, and getting them to talk to each other and talking to them or Mm. whether it's to do with chartered and the qualifications and sort of getting that stamp of credibility on all the project professionals out there. There's just, there's so many different things they could be doing. Um, It is definitely going to be really hard to work out where to go first. Yeah, I think you're right. And and I think that, you know, know, although I keep going on about, you know, driving forward and doing new things, there's always the need to consolidate. And and one of my old... uh, 
I won't say old because um, if she's listening to this, she'll 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 uh, seek me out and batter me. But um, um, yeah, the, the, my one of my former non-executive directors used to constantly say to me, "We need to consolidate. We need to make sure that we we're firm in in our approach and our belief." And she was always right, <laughs> uh, and, and and I can say that now publicly. She was always right. Um, but, but I'm a natural innovator and a natural disruptor, and I like to find new ways of doing things and understanding things and, and generating new stuff. Uh, so I always need to make sure in any organization where I'm a leader, I need to make sure that I've got sort of the, you know, my, my number one or my number two is, is definitely a consolidator to help sort of balance that out. The good thing is I'm self-aware of that. So yes. in theory, that should work. <laughs> and I um, definitely feel I'm on that end of the spectrum i i like to just try new things and if it's my own business i just jump in there and take the risks and Mm. hope they work i'm very much that sort of person obviously Mm. if you're looking after a business for someone else i'm a little bit you know at work and things i don't just do random stuff um but and i but i do truly believe at the moment the apm is at a point where it needs a slightly higher percentage of those sort of people it needs to be a bit disruptive it's it's done it's solid chartership and yes mm. as a board as a whole it will need some people to hold hold people like us back um mm. but it does need a bit of oomph and a bit of oh, there's this new thing happened let's go do it um, yeah i mean the, the thing you're saying there about the the gcfc I'm, I'm aware of that work uh, i'm hoping to be involved in that work um and actually we did some trials um uh, back when we were doing the the major programs friendship with some some local schools and some UTCs around that as well. Um, yeah, that's really exciting to me. I can think of nothing better for us as a profession that, you know, young people at the age of 13, 14, 15, you know, when they're asked that question, what do you want to be when you're older? You know, I want to be a, I want to be a, a pilot. I want to be in the military. I want to be a, you know, I'll, I, it, it would be great if they say I want to be a project manager. And they actually understand what that is. So, you know, that we're right up there with, if they understand what project management is you know i think that would be that would be a great thing for the profession um so before we finish uh, what is your final message so so my main message i think right now is that um project management is going places we all know that it is and because of that we need to make sure that we've got the right balance and the right people and the right ideas coming right from the top right at the board of, of trustees at the professional body and so I think that it's just really important that everybody out there who's a full member or a fellow uh, who has that vote make sure that they use it uh, uh, this year round because it is really critical um, in how we're now going to take chartership forward to the next level. Thank you for listening to Sorrel's PM Times. If you want to listen to the full episode it'll be out in the next week. If you want to contact either of us, uh, we both have Twitter. Um, mine is times underscore PM. And Darren's is Darren Jaunthill. It's just his name, basically. I'll put links to both of our Twitters and LinkedIn pages um, in the show notes. Bye. Bye. Bye.